In 2004, I was living in downtown Madison um, with a bunch of people, and one of my roommates was a pretty big gamer. Um, he had a PlayStation 2 and a GameCube with him, uh, but he had a whole slew of, uh, like, a couple shelves worth, about that long, of uh, old PlayStation 1 games. Um, most of the RPGs, um, and at the time, even, a lot of those would uh, would have set you back quite a bit of money if you wanted to buy them. Um, one of the games that he picked up um, and was just starting to play was a game called Drakengard. Um, Drakengard is uh, developed by Caviar, um, and it's basically you're a soldier, Kime, um, who's trying to save your sister at the beginning of the, movie, at the, beginning of the game. And uh, you uh, you fight fight enemies. Um, it's similar to Samurai Warriors, um, if you're familiar with that. Um, so basically, you know, you run through the level, you defeat enemies, you get to a certain checkpoint. Um, unlike Samurai Warriors, it doesn't really focus on killing enemies so much. Um, you can basically run through the levels. Uh, with a few exceptions, of course, where you have to finish off a boss. Um, but yeah, he was playing this game, and uh, he it wasn't very far. He just picked it up, but um, it was pretty cool. Um, it, it was definitely a darker game. Um, it had definitely earned its M rating. Um, lots of blood. Um, one of the things that was unique about it is that you could pick up weapons in each level, um, but there were certain uh, requirements to unlocking um, or having the weapons show up in the levels. And uh, eventually, within the first chapter, I think, you got to actually ride a dragon. Um, and in exchange for your life, or, yeah, in exchange for your life, you give up your voice, so you can't speak. Um, so basically the game is you and this dragon, um, trying to save your sister. And uh, it's pretty unique because it also has a number of different endings to it. So you can get through, um, it, there's a bunch of chapters is how it's broken up. And you can get um, you can get to the end, but beyond that there's more chapters that you can unlock either by fulfilling specific requirements in previous chapters or um, I think one of the, the last ones is if you unlock all the weapons, you get to have this really freaky fight. But um, the one downside, which I learned pretty pretty quickly, was that there's only one save, um, and that's because uh, the roommate had lost his save because somebody else had saved over. Uh, so that was pretty much a bummer. But a really great game. It was really hard to find it. Um, eventually... You can see I was able to find it at GameStop for 15 bucks, so it's not bad, and the copy's pretty good quality. Uh, a few years after that, so it was when the game came out, so in 2005, um, or shortly before that, I guess, I'd seen that they were actually going to release a second one. So when it came out, I naturally picked it up because I enjoyed the first one so much. Um, Unlike the first one, this is not so dark. Um, Drakengard, especially as you unlock more of the endings or more of the chapters, um, it gets pretty dark. Um, but it's still a really amazing game, and I think that that darkness adds a certain quality to it because you don't see that very often. Um, Drakengard 2 is a little different um, because it's you, and then you can swap out... Um, for different companions. Um, you could do that to some extent with Drakengard, but they were very time limited, uh, so you only had a certain amount of time before you couldn't play as the character anymore. And I'm having a hard time remembering exactly what characters you could play as. Um, there's the blind guy, the kid, and uh, the girl who is just mentally scarred. Um, which one of the endings revolves around that. Um, and it's probably one of the... Well, check out some footage if, you, if you're interested in the game, because uh, the endings are, are definitely unique. 
Um, Dragon Guard 2 was good, but it just wasn't quite the same quality as the first one, the original one, and I think a lot of other people were kind of looking for that darker um, theme to it, whereas this was more lighter, um, you could actually see, you know, damage being done to enemies. Um, the story, I mean, the main character was a little, uh, a little goofy, um, and instead of, you know, having this bond where you had to sacrifice something in order for both you and this, this dragon to live, it's kind of, you just start out and, you, you know, you ride a dragon. Um, but this has definitely got some twists because, and I think I can say this without spoiling, but the, you, your uh, dragon, who we'll see if it says on here what the name is. Um, it doesn't, but uh, he starts getting like freakier and freakier, uh, which to some extent happened in this one as well. Um, the one tying factor was uh, this one happened after Drakengard, so you can see her down here. Uh, this is actually the little girl Mana, 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 um, who is in this game and kind of uh, caused all the destruction to occur. Um, also developed by Kavya, so definitely some really great games. Um, there's been talk about a third one for a while, but let's be honest, it's probably not going to happen. Um, a few years, well, many years later, um, and completely unrelated, I had seen reviews about, or talk about a new game coming out called Nier. And uh, all I knew about it was Square Enix was, or Square Enix was involved in some way. Uh, but I had played Last Remnant, um, I had tried to play um, Infinite Undiscovery, um, and Square just seemed to be kind of falling falling behind on the game. Um, Nier got pretty mediocre reviews. Uh, most people didn't like it, but the only thing I could really remember about it was that the main character was ugly. Um, and he is ugly. He's a brute. Um, however, um, that was really all that I could remember about the reviews, was that the guy's pretty ugly. Uh, so that doesn't really, you know, push me one way or the other. Um, price dropped down pretty quickly on this game. Um, and so a couple months ago, um, which is year, probably a year after it released, um, I saw it for under 20 I decided to pick up a copy. Um, I bought it on the 360 only because I heard that the uh, the quality was a little bit better of the game. Um, I don't remember if it was slowdowns or if it was graphical quality. Um, but I picked it up for the 360. Um, over the course of the last week, uh, I started playing it on the 13th. Um, I've played it. I've put in about 43 clocked hours. Um, but that's probably closer to like 45 total. Um, there's four endings on this game, and I've played through all four. And uh, for this, because the my camera's all freaking out, so I don't know how good the the voice or the sound quality is going to be on this. Um, so originally I was going to do kind of a review as part of this one video, uh, but Instead, I'll briefly just say that if you picked up either of these games and you liked them, take a look at Nier if you haven't. Um, it's also done by Kavya, which I didn't know at the time. I just knew that Square was, was in some way related to it. And uh, yes, the main character is ugly, but this is probably one of the top games, top five games that I've played this year. Um, I haven't played as many games as I'd like, but this is, well, I don't know if it's top five. <laughs> uh, top ten. Definitely top ten. Um, possibly top five. Like five of top five. Um, 
but it's a it's a pretty amazing game, and the story has got some kind of relationship to these games. Um, not so much in actual story, but in uh, uh, shoot, what's the word? Um, it's a spiritual successor, if you will. Um, you've got some of the same dark themes. The yeah, yeah. I don't know that that really makes sense. Um, it seems like they borrowed a lot, which is a good way. It's a good thing. They they took two really one really good game, and they just continued what they had done. Um, as far as combat, as far as um, weapons, as far as having a good story um, that could be a little weird at times. Um, yeah, but I'll, uh, I'll stop this video and I'll do a full review just on the game. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this, I had the best intentions for this video and then it just fell apart.